By the way, that introduction was longer than my speech, bro. Sorry. No, no, no. Just kidding, bro. I'm like, whoa, hey, whoa. But I was actually sitting there going, come on, keep it coming, keep it coming. No, uh, uh, seriously, though. Uh, um, it is an honor and privilege to be here. I'd like to say aloha uh, to President Dr. Jeffrey Bannister, to the Chair of the Board of Trustees, Dr. Michael Chun, to all of the distinguished faculty here at Hawaii Pacific University, and to all of you, the 2014 graduates of Hawaii Pacific University. <laughs> Woo! 31 states, 36 countries, here at the 82nd commencement. I just want to congratulate all of you for having the courage to dream and the determination to make those dreams come true. Henry Ford once said, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. In other words, local style, eh, no such thing, no can, okay? <laughs> Always can. The only thing you gotta figure out, and you already did, because you got your degree and you're here for graduation, is how can, right? Because <laughs> always can. Any obstacle, hurdle, or barrier is just meant to go over, around, or through. And when any of you question, when further challenges arise, just remember today. Remember this feeling of accomplishment and achievement. Relish it, embrace it, and rub it all over. <laughs> because anytime you doubt yourself, remember what got you here. Remember, you dreamed. You dreamed and set a goal. You had a goal of acquiring higher education, which is the great equalizer of our society. Higher education opens the doors to the potential and possibilities of your life. I'm here to tell you it's true, not just because I didn't catch a couple degrees, but because I had on 1.8 GPA out of high school. And when I told guys I was going to college, they told me, easy, Hawaiian. Maybe you better throttle back some of that ambition and dreams. I'm here to tell you guys, no listen to them, okay? Because next thing you know, anything is possible. You guys, it's the dream, you had it. But you realized to get there, you had to do a couple things, and you did. One word, you had to work hard. Nobody gave you this degree you're sitting and about to come up here and celebrate. You earned it. You worked for it. And you realize the harder you work, the better you do. The more you put in, the more you get out. And that will remain true the rest of your life. Whatever you did to get to today, just keep doing that. Just keep doing that. And one more thing you did to get to your dreams. None of you, and all of you, made sure that you never, ever gave up. And I'm sure every single one of you has a story to tell about perseverance. In Hawaii, we call that pa'ohana, just diligence, just hard work, never, ever giving up. Success, it said, is just getting up one more time than you fall. And all of you continue to believe in your dreams, continue to work hard. And I just want to share with all of you that now that you have that degree from a center of academic excellence in the Pacific, what do you do with it? Maya Angelou, the great American poet, once said, when you get, give. When you learn, teach. I'm here just to share with you all of you, this gift that you've earned rightfully through your hard work and determination, share it, give it, celebrate it. The more you give, the more you get. And, and I just want to say to all of you, you know, that aloha, kindness, compassion. Sometimes we define success by our job titles, by the house we own, the cars we drive, or the influence or power we might wield one day. But I'm here to tell you the people I look up to, the people I admire, the people I revere are humble, are kind, are compassionate, are sincere. Take your education, take your dreams, and take your life, and go out there. But most importantly, share the aloha. Share the kindness, that aloha spirit you learned while at HPU. Think about it, aloha. It doesn't cost any money. It's not like when you guys go out with your friends and a bill come and you guys start doing the Hawaiian haka, you know what I mean? Hey, uh, you get that? No, I thought you had that. No. Think about it. Love, aloha, 
It doesn't cost any money, and it doesn't take any effort. And the most amazing part, the more you give, the more you get. And the more you give, the more you have. And you can never, ever run out. So as we go out there and pursue our dreams and strive for excellence, let us remember that simple, simple value. And I'm here to tell you, to stand before all of you and tell you truthfully, no such thing, no can. When I told people I was going to be the mayor of Hawaii Island, they told me, mm, how do you plan on doing that? <laughs> when I told people I was going to be one lawyer, they said, brother, you need one lawyer. You're not going to be one lawyer. <laughs> but you know what? I just kept doing what I learned in college. I started at Hawaii Community College because I couldn't get into the university and certainly not HPU. <laughs> Sorry, brother. But I went every day, hung out with good people, studied hard just like all of you. Next thing you know, I graduated. Next thing you know, I graduated with honors from a university on the East Coast, and people tell me, wow, hi, why you went to the University of Massachusetts at Amherst? I said, because, bro, when you go far away, people get confused. They think it's like Harvard and MIT. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you in like Harvard at Billy, MIT. Yeah, yeah, same thing, same thing. Right down the road, right down the road. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. But you know what? I realized, hey, that's all I'm going to keep doing. I went to law school, ended up being the commencement speaker of my law school class. And my parents, who God bless them, rest in heaven. Look, I know they were looking at me going, even my dad, God bless him, and look at me go, hey, boy, tell me the truth. You cheating or what? <laughs> I'm like, wow, dad, for real, for real. But all I did the rest of my life up till now is just did what all of you just did. Just worked hard, wake up earlier than everybody else. I knew I wasn't the smartest. I knew I never had any advantages on anybody, but I could work harder because I controlled that. And I believe that if you work up harder than everybody else and you contain that, you have that, just keep doing what you did. And next thing you know, wow, I was standing on the side of the road, shocking everybody, and they gave me the keys to the kingdom. <laughs> like the island I live on, Ida Mia. <laughs> so, all of you, all of you, I just like leave you with a couple things. One, from this great Hawaiian American storyteller named Ralph Waldo Kamakaviva Ole Emerson. I threw in the Kamakaviva Ole because anybody who that smart, that cool, gotta be Hawaiian. But he said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Just remember that, you guys. What lies behind us and what lies before us, tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Say what you mean and mean what you say. You know, my father told me, hey, boy, don't just think before you talk. Think and feel before you talk. That way, everything you say comes from your heart. Whether people agree or disagree with what you're saying, at least you're honest. You know, so you guys, when not a, a Shakespearean pigeon English brother said, no scare them, go get them, okay? <laughs> so I like leave you guys with that. And finally, from a great Hawaiian scholar, Kamehameha the Great, before the battle of El Valley, in the face of overwhelming odds and numbers, he looked at all of his warriors and yelled, Imua in na puki'i. Ainu i kavai ava ava. That meant go forward, my brothers and sisters, until you drink the bitter waters of battle, for there is no turning back. Congratulations, class of 2014, Hawaii Pacific University. You earned it, you deserve it. Aloha!